Hey, hello, welcome. So in this video, we are going to learn how we can add parameter in schedule integration. That parameter will help you whenever we will schedule that integration and will run the integration. It will ask us to provide the value, provide the parameters and that parameters we will use in our integration. So right now, if you will see, this is the integration. That integration is going to call the BI report and the making the file of that BI report output and providing the file over SFTP server. So here, this is this report have one parameter and I added the parameter value using one variable. So here you can see this is the var p invoice date variable I have created. And in this variable, I have mapped to the report parameters. You can see the report parameters. This is the parameters name here. And in the pay invoice date and the parameter name, we have provided the value from this variable v var p invoice date. So right now in this integration, we have hard coded the value in this variable. So you can see where p invoice date we have hard coded the value. So whenever we will run this integration, it will get only data for that particular the parameters invoice date, whatever we have added. So let me show the integration. So here if you will see. So what it will do, it will let me make a duplicate. So it will call the integration, it will call the BI report and based on the data, based on the parameter we added, it will get the report data. So here if you will see this is our integration so once it will create complete it will place file over here only right in this directory so i have added the code so here you can see program completed successfully if you will see and if you will refresh here you can see this is the file generated once i will open you can see it shows all the invoice details which have the date that the you can see the invoice date is this one 262022 what this date we passed as a parameter and you can see that the p invoice that this is a parameter and this is the value of that parameter we pass from the integration right 262020 so now what we are going to do is that in this integration we have hard coded that parameter right so right now we don't want to hard code we want whenever this integration will schedule or whoever this uh, will execute this integration at the time it will ask the parameters value so what we can do is that we can add a parameter in the schedule integration only. So here we have schedule endpoint. You can say this is the schedule endpoint, right? So here what I will, we will edit and here you can see the parameters name we have to provide. So first, if we want to create the parameters, just we will click here add. And once we will click on this add icon, it will generate here. So we want to provide the parameter name. So let's provide the P invoice date. This is the parameter schedule parameter we added and here it's mandatory to provide the default value so i don't want to provide any default value so just i added this one now i have to close and what i want is that instead of making the hard coded value this 6 to 2020 i just want to map this value with the parameter we added so this is the parameter p invoice that we added so i will remove this hard coded value and will map this variable with this the schedule integration parameters now done so what it will do right now is that once the integration will be executed it will ask the value ask user to provide the value parameter value that parameter will be value will be mapped into this variable and this variable will be mapped in the while calling the report so let's save and let me run this integration close so here let me first activate so here from this sftp server let me delete this file so right now we don't have file it, the integration will execute and it will place the file and that file will contain the values whatever values we will use so here you can see let's confirm and here you can see when we are going to run this integration earlier we don't have the parameter value and now as we added the parameter in our schedule integration it's showing here parameter name is that p invoice date and here we have to provide the value so i just want to provide that 0602 2022 and now submit so once you will submit this value will be passed as a parameter schedule parameter and that schedule parameter will be mapped to the variable and it will show you the data so here just wait for completing this integration so you can see our integration completed and now if we will move to the server refresh you can see we have the file and that file contain the parameter as 2622 whatever parameter we pass here you can see the invoice date is 2622 if we will run this integration and we will pass different value <coughs> so here let me go to the integration again so here 
and one more benefit we have to like while adding the parameters you can see this is the current value it's showing if we will submit here this default value this value the current value whatever it's showing here that will be submitted if we want to change the value we can then change here so suppose 8022022 so now what it will do it will not pass this value it will pass this value to the integration and if we don't provide this value this this value will be the pass so right now we added the value as 8222 submit so now you can see it's generated the id so here if you will see refresh integration completed and you can see the time as 3 second ago 11 and here you can see this is the previous file created on 111012 once i will refresh this will be changed to 1111 and once i will edit this one file you can see the invoice date as 282022 as we have mentioned here you can see 282022 this is the invoice date we passed from the front end right so this is the way from which you can add the parameter in the schedule integration so thank you so much for watching if you have any other queries and want to know anything like more about this integration do comment and of course if you have not subscribed this channel yet please do subscribe thank you so much for watching